Welcome back to Behind the Z Scenes for Exile in Grumville, and here's the last level. Last map, actually. So, over here. Um, Alright, whatever. So, this is the cathedral, and pretty much shown off most of the stuff here. Let's see. Okay, I have the flags on. All right, so bomb over there and and kill the enemies and the secret arrow will appear. Bomb up here and you will find a key over here. And then there's a key down there and then I think this leads you downstairs. Yeah, it leads you downstairs, which is over this way. So I think you come out right here. And just go around, get more keys, stuff like that. Uh, and you got the wand in here somewhere. There's actually something a little complicated here. Um, oops. So when you slash this pot right here, you get an under combo with an arrow to the left. So... Oh, I see. I see how I did this. So, you push this bookshelf over here, which you can't walk onto, although it's walkable. There's a little thing right here, you can't walk on it. So, you push this over here, and then the entire bookshelf will shift. So, as you can see, oops, I'm at flags. So, this is push left one, and this is a block trigger. So when you activate the block trigger, then all these secret combos will reveal. So there will be a door right here. And basically the bookshelf will shift one tile over. So you can go up here and get... Uh, what's the special item here? A key, okay. So you get the wand somewhere around here. I think over here. Yeah, you get the wand and then you go down here. And these are magic prisms, so... or magic mirrors. Yeah, they're not the prisms, they're the magic mirrors. So up right and down left. So that means... If you hit it from the... if you... Use the magic from the left, it will go down. And then here, it's probably down right, so... And up left, so from the top, it will go left. So from up, it will go left. And then if it comes from down, it will go right. So that's how you set those up, and then frowny face, and then you hit it with the magic, it turns into a smiley face, and you can go across. Down here, I got the boss key, and then the boss. Let's see. That doesn't look so good, but oh well. Side warp, let's see. Okay, so we have the old third logo of the Calgary Flames, and you just use your wand over here. And, um... I believe we have some Stalfos 3s over here, so you have to kind of kill these guys. I don't think it's walkable, is it? No, none of it's walkable, so you just have to kill this Stalfos 3, hit it with three shots of magic, and then you activate this, and which will activate the stairs over here, so... Once the wand magic hits this flag 77, these will turn into stairs, go to the next screen, up here, basically same thing, same thing here. You probably want to go left instead of right, because there will be less enemies over here to get to here. And then you'll get the heart container and the Triforce. And so I just have to find out where the final boss is. Uh, let's go up here. So this is the entrance to the final boss. Uh, actually, wait, let me go back to map one here. So once you get the Triforce complete, you go... Where is it? It's over here, I believe. Yeah, you go here, and... Well, there's a tile there, or a warp there, a tile warp. So that will take you to where? Over here. 
So originally you would just take the raft, go into this house, and get the Master Sword over here. Then take this Tile Warp over back here, get out of this cave, and you're back over here. So you come out from this cave again. And then the Ganon statue right here, hit with your Master Sword, go in here, and this is where the final boss is. There's no final level, so... Burger Boss. Okay, here it is. So Ganon turns into a giant burger! So this is just basically a rehash of all of the bosses. So kill the enemies, get warped over here, blow your whistle, get warped over here, kill all the enemies, get warped over here. What do you do? Oh, okay, I was at the edge of this map there, so... That will take you over here. Uh, use your candle. I think this uh, side warp just side warps you to the same screen. Yeah, in case you miss with the candle. Uh, use the candle there. Warps you over here. Kill the enemies. Go over here. Use the hookshot there. And all the while, I believe, this boss will be shooting um, yeah shooting fireballs at you and there are falling rocks too so okay so use the hook shot there kill the enemies here push this power push this thing with the power bracelet I think there's something that opens up like a a warp or something take you over here kill the enemies use your arrow there kill the enemies. Use your hammer there, kill the enemies. Use your wa or fire boomerang there, kill the enemies. Or no, you have to go over here and then, let's see. I think there's just a message there, so then same boss as the cathedral. So be careful of the Salphos and then just kill them. You, you just uh, shoot your magic over here, kill these guys until you hit that there. And then the boss goes glurp, 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 and you win. I think that just takes you over to here. This is the ending. So, um, yeah, this is just a trailer for Aquamentus the movie, I guess. So he finds Link, and then they go to Las Vegas. And that's all for Exile in Grumville. So now I will go over to my next quest, which is originally what I wanted to start with. Warrior of the Lost World. But I figured I would just go through Ganon Co. Trouble at Ganon Co. and Exile in Grumville would be a good sort of, I don't know, initial tutorial for this. Because this quest is where I sort of let loose with Z Quest and did a lot of really creative things. Same thing with Gad and Co. too. So there's a lot of stuff that's uh, that's worthy of expl explanation in this quest. So I just want to find out where it starts first. Um, starting D map, 8080 intro. So where's that? A lot of D maps here. <laughs> Only 80. I thought there were more. Map 19. So it starts on map 19. Let's see. Is that. Last one. It's the final boss. Okay, here we go. Here's the intro. So, so it starts here. And they're just talking, and then go over here. This is all uh, time dwarf, by the way. And then you go over here, and then Link screws up, and he's separated from Zelda. So then. says this bush looks interesting I should kill all the enemies first and then let's start right here so we start right where is it right here and this cave will go into where you get the sword uh, there's really not too much to explain about the overworld here actually um, we'll start with the first screen here this is Entrance to lamps, there's a heart container. Once you get the flippers, you can get that. Um, 
Uh, here's the screen from the intro. It says, I should kill all the enemies first. So, once you kill all the enemies, this bush will turn into an arrow with an up sign. So you go up here, and then just follow it straight up, and then go through here, into here, and you get the whistle. And then here, we have two splitting dark nuts, and then here is the uh, Zelda room, but actually this goes to end. So you can't have what I found out here is that you can't have the Zelda room in the overworld. You have to actually put it in an interior or NES dungeon type D map. So uh, somewhere, I believe right along here, there's a direct warp to that screen. So then that leads to the ending. Okay, and then over here, let's see. Do I have the flags on? I don't know. Okay, there we go. So this is just the top part. Uh, this is wallet done. Wallet shop palace entrance, museum, or, well, it's not a museum, memorial entrance. Okay, so here's where you get the Lens of Truth. Push that grave once you get the ladder. Um, really not too much over here. I, I put this in rather late. This is the entrance to Combustion Forest, but anyway. I put this trigger in rather late, and it just opens up, sorry, it opens up a shortcut right here. I should have put this in from the beginning, but I didn't. Oh well. And a uh, secret bomb wall there. I think that's a magic shop. Another bomb wall there. I don't know what's there. Uh, these are just enemies like Stealthos 3s and Splitting Dark Nuts. They're pretty easy to kill because you just wail away at them on your ladder while you're safe up there. So, uh, no big deal. Okay, so over here we have a dive warp. First one I've used. Because this is the first quest I've used the flippers. So this is... It's not a dive warp, sorry. It's a dive for item flag. So dive equals item. Same deal with the armost secret. You need special item. And then the special item catch-all will be a heart container. So there's a heart container right there. There's another heart container there. <laughs> and I thought there was one there, but there isn't. Okay. Then here's another sort of ladder maze, or not ladder maze, dock maze. Okay, and a uh, burnable tree there with a heart container. This is the entrance to Parappa the Rapper Palace, and just step on that switch and ladders will take you in, or the bridges will appear. And then here, this rock's a little bit different from the other ones, so you just bomb it and get all the way back up here. <laughs> huh? What happened to all... Okay, never mind. Okay, so you bomb that rock and you can go forward. So, this is more of the town and stuff like that. Uh, here's a whistle secret. <coughs> so blow the whistle here. This will open up here, which is a staircase to a rupee grinding area. Another over-under type thing, so the secrets are right there. Let's turn this into just normal tiles, and then it'll turn uh, these just floor tiles into non-walkable ones. So, secret combos. Yeah, this will be non-walkable, so you can only walk here. Alright, so um, so here's the back exit from the disease cave, and uh, these will be, you hit the switch and then this rock will disappear, but I used combo cycling here. So, uh, yeah, so it goes from this one to this one to this one, so it animates, kind of. So, every time you come into that screen, then this thing will, like, blow up again, so. Oops, more bombable things there. Another heart container. Uh, this is the... Exit from the castle into, I think, the final level there, or the final boss. Uh, to the left goes to Frosted Flakes level. This is just a shop. This you use Din's Fire. 75 is Din's Fire, so use it here. If the fire touches any of these, then the secrets will reveal themselves. And, yeah. So, you have the trees there, so... 
Uh, these ones will disappear and then fire will appear randomly because you used Din's fire. Okay, just a cave there. ZYX TV, Dr. Obey. And then same thing here, I used combo cycling so the tree will burn and then disappear. So every time you come into the screen, the tree will burn and disappear once you hit that trigger there. Okay, um, there's the entrance to the tree. Okay, so this is a screen only acce accessible by the flippers. Uh, this is very heavy, so you need the power bracelet, which you get after getting the Triforce and going through a little mini-boss type thing. Uh, here's level question mark. Okay, that's another rupee grinding dungeon. Okay, uh, here, you hit these guys with magic and then a bridge will appear across. This is also done with combo cycling, so I'll show you here. So that is combo 973. So let's see, 973, a little bit further down, a little bit further down, a little bit further down, 973, where is it? A little bit further up. Oh, here we go. So it starts with this one, and then 17 will be this one, 18 this one, 19 this one, 20 this one, so. Uh, this cycles into he or this one cycles here, this one cycles here to here, and then this one here to here to here to here to here, all the way over there. So, so 16 will be this one, 17 this one, 18 this one, so uh, basically the bridge will kind of animate all the way over this way once you go onto the screen and activate these flags here. Okay, so well, there's some more layering over here, I think. Unless I just put them overhead. Yeah, okay, so I did layer it. Actually, the snow here is layered. So that's just an overhead layer, and it's just snow on a transparent background. So you got that snow effect. Okay, so not too much over here. Here's another place only accessible by the flippers. Here's the bat cave. This one right here, this is a cave walk down, this one is nothing. So you combo type none, so you can just walk right over this, it won't do anything. Is it even walkable? Okay, so only half of it's walkable. So nothing there. Uh, huh, there's a bobble wall here, I didn't really know that. <laughs> totally forgot. Fairy fountain, and then... Uh, nothing much over here, actually over here is a cave entrance. So, act so uh, I will end this off here. Next time on Behind the Z Scenes, I will go through some of the levels in Warrior of the Lost World, and hopefully it will be a little bit more interesting. So I will see you next time.